2016 gave us such great animated DC superhero films as Batman Bad Blood, Justice League vs Teen Titans and Batman The Killing Joke and with the year coming to a close I thought I'd make a brief overview of the DC animated films set to be released in 2017. Justice League Dark will be released digitally on the 25th of January 2017 and will get a DVD and Blu-ray release on the 7th of February 2017. Justice League Dark is an adaption of the New 52 Justice League Dark comic run and don't worry I won't be revealing any spoilers for the film but to understand what this film is about is very simple. The Justice League deal with supervillain and superpowered threats to the world and the Justice League Dark is basically there to deal with magically based threats on the same level, as the original Justice League has no real magic users or sorcerers in its ranks. So in this adaption, when the world is threatened by a mystical apocalypse and the Justice League is not equipped to deal with it, Batman then decides to recruit a team of magic users to deal with the threat, as they have the skills and powers to deal with magical threats accordingly. Are you talking about magic? Then we have to find John Constantine. The movie is directed by DC legend Jay Oliver, who also directed Justice League Flashpoint Paradox, Justice League War, Batman vs Robin and Batman Bad Blood. So expect Justice League Dark to follow those films in terms of style and execution. Batman is voiced by Jason O'Mara, who has been voicing Batman in the continuity of the recent DC films. Superman and Wonder Woman will be making appearances as well and are voiced by Jerry O'Connell and Rosario Dawson respectively who, like Batman, are the same voices the last few Justice League animated films have had, from Justice League War to Justice League vs Teen Titans. Along with Batman, the Justice League Dark members are Constantine, who is voiced by Matt Ryan, the role of course which he played on the Arrow TV series and his own series, Constantine. For those unfamiliar with him, Constantine is a chain-smoking, cynical Englishman implying David Copperfield, television magician, has true power. Owns a chain of islands and dated Claudia Schiffer, what do you think? who also happens to be one hell of a sorcerer. Zatanna, a magic user who says words backwards in order to cast spells, will be in the league as well, and I wanted her to be voiced by Lacey Chappert, who of course voices Zatanna in the TV series Young Justice and Justice League Action, but instead she is voiced by Camilla Luddington, who you may know as the voice of Lara Croft in her new rebooted game series. The demon Etrigan, who is fused to the soul of Jason Blood. Oh, gone the form of man. Arise the demon Etrigan! A knight from the days of Merlin and King Arthur is voiced by Ray Chase, who has done voices on so many video games it's ridiculous, such as Duke Sex, Mankind Divided, and Final Fantasy XV. Deadman, who is a ghost who possesses the bodies of the living to fight crime, is voiced by Nicholas Turturro. Black Orchard, who is a shapeshifter with super strength, semi invulnerability and flight, is voiced by Colleen O'Sharon who is the voice of Tails in the Sonic Boom TV and video game series. And rounding out the league is the mystical being Swamp Thing who can control the world's plant life, and kind of is the world's plant life, and if you don't know what I mean by that, trust me it'll make sense when you see the film. He is voiced by Roger Cross who plays Detective Lucas Hilton in the Arrow TV series. The evil Felix Faust, who is a classic character from the play Faust, about a man who sells his soul for power, Here's what real magic looks like. will also feature in the film and is voiced by Enrico Colatoni, who was in the old TV series Justice League as the voice of glorious Gordon Godfrey. And as you may have noticed, with the obvious exception of Batman who has no superpowers, all of these characters' powers are derived from magic. The Justice League Dark is a very good comic book series with great characters and plot, so hopefully this movie will do them justice. Next we have the film The Lego Batman. This film is set to be released on the 10th of February 2017 and is a spin-off of the Lego movie and is set in the same universe as the Lego movie. Will Arnett is still voicing Batman as he faces his toughest challenge yet, raising an orphan boy. This orphan is of course Dick Grayson and he becomes Batman's Robin. The dynamic duo are later joined by Batgirl to go up against Batman's arch nemesis, the Joker. Superman is my greatest enemy. Superman is not a bad guy! The film stars Zachary Galifianakis as the Joker, Michael Cera as Robin, Ralph Fiennes as Alfred Pennyworth and Rosario Dawson as Batgirl, who as I mentioned before is also playing the voice of Wonder Woman in Justice League Dark. The film looks set to be as big as the Lego movie and will no doubt sell a hell of a lot of Lego Batman toy sets worldwide. Next we have the film Teen Titans Judas Contract. Now this film was actually announced way back in 2006 and was then later cancelled. 
Then in 2016, the project was announced to be back in production and is set to be released in spring of 2017. Hopefully the film won't be cancelled yet again as Judas Contracts a very good story arc involving the Teen Titans versus the deadly Deathstroke. It also told the story of how Deathstroke's wife shot out his right eye, though this version was changed in Son of Batman and since this film is going to be the sequel to Teen Titans vs Justice League, it will of course follow the same continuity. And the fourth and final announced DC film for 2017 is Batman and Harley Quinn, which is an original story that will be written by Bruce Timm, who co-created the character of Harley Quinn and was responsible for Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, Justice League, Batman Beyond and Justice League Unlimited, as well as several other DC animated movies so he's pretty much the godfather of superhero animation. And if he is writing the script, you know it's going to be good. Unfortunately, details on this are very limited, and so far that is all that we know. And though the film is scheduled to be released in the summer of 2017, we won't know the exact date until later in 2017. And on that note, I have to say that the release dates I have given are the ones that are currently having been released, and these may be subject to change as companies often change the dates of such things at the very last minute but they are the current release dates. And those are the DC animated films set to be released in 2017, at least the ones that have been announced so far. Personally, I'm most looking forward to seeing Justice League Dark, as I'm a big fan of the comic book run, but what film are you looking forward to seeing the most out of these? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.